Welcome to Docs Cloud. In this video, we will show you how you can use the Doc Extractor module. Please note that the Doc Extractor module is currently in beta. Based upon the user feedback and our learning, we will be significant changes in the next six to nine months. So, let's start. There are two ways to use the Doc Extractor module. The first way is to integrate this module in your existing business process through the API and get the extracted data. The second way is to upload the files manually using the Docs Cloud interface and send the data to your business process. In this video we will cover both processes. The integration method allows you to send the document to the Docs Cloud system using API integration. You can either configure the source system to send the file to the Docs Cloud or use an automation platform like Pabbly, Integrately or Zapier to integrate other applications with Docs Cloud. Remember, if you wish to use one of the automation platforms, you need to configure the API plugins available in these ecosystems for connectivity. We currently do not have a dedicated plugin for Doc Extract in these ecosystems. As the Doc Extractor module is a template-free intelligent data extraction, you do not need to define any template. On a fixed endpoint, you need to post the request with the following key value pairs. The first two are the auth ID and the auth token. You can find these values under my profile section. The third field is the earn, or the unique reference number is optional. If you send us a reference number in this field, you will receive the same value in our response. This will help you to map the request and the response in your application. The fourth and fifth fields are the input file path and the input field type. The system can currently extract the data from three file formats. These formats are PDF, JPEG and PNG. The sixth field is the webhook. This is the endpoint where Docs Cloud will post the extracted data. While the Docs Cloud system performs the data extraction on a real-time basis, we still prefer an async integration and post the extracted data. The last input is the output format representing the format in which you wish to collect the extracted data. We currently support DOCX, CSV, JSON, HTML and a zip file with all the formats in it. In the output response, you will have three parameters. The first one is the urn or the unique reference number that was supplied in the input. The second one is the output file URL, and the third one is the output file format. This is how you can connect your business application with the Doc Extractor module of the Docs Cloud. In case you need more information about the integration, you can visit the integration document available at docscloud.io slash integration hyphen doc extractor. You can manually import the document for data extraction. Go to the create and select the import document option. When importing, you can choose the webhook where the extracted data should get posted. Once processed, you can also download the zip file from the Docs Cloud interface. To reprocess the document, click the reprocess icon under the action column. Please note that all the input documents sent through the API or uploaded using the Docs Cloud interface will get deleted along with the output after 30 days. Also, the maximum file size allowed is 10 megabytes. The zip folder will have five files, the original input file, the output in CSV, DOCX, HTML and JSON formats. The DOCX file will have the original input content in the background and the extracted data in the front for comparison purpose. You can select the background image and delete it. Please note that the Doc Extractor module is currently in beta. Based on user feedback and our learning, we will be significant changes in the next six to nine months. That's it for now. In case you need more help, just send us an email at support at docscloud.io.